Here now, Alina Haba. She's an attorney for President Trump who is in court today. So what's it like in court? Is it just a bunch of cheap shots? <laughs> well, today was opening statements, so that's a little bit more fun than the mundane, I will say, Jesse. But, um, no, there's not cheap shots. I think there's reality, and then there's this world that they all live in. And they put on quite a performance trying to make it look like there was corruption that doesn't exist. And we got up and we made it very clear. First, let's start with something very basic. We are not supposed to be here doing this trial right now because we're not even sure what the scope is because the appellate division hasn't said so. Now we're sitting here in court, we're putting on our arguments and we're saying, wait a minute, you're relying on Michael Cohen. They played a clip from him today. I started laughing. It, they played was, a clip of Michael Cohen at the court case. Today. That was how they thought their strong point was. Let's start off. Wait, Letitia with Michael James, Cohen. the Democrat attorney general, yeah. led with Michael Cohen in court. <laughs> yes. That should tell you everything you need to yes. know. This judge looked a little creepy with a smile. <laughs> What was your opinion of him? I am not going to state it. I'm going to let you do very it. Very good. I'll state it. He looked very deranged. <laughs> so the vibe inside was what? The president was there. He didn't have to show up, but he did. Why did he show up? Because this is his company. This is his life. And people forget that President Trump, I, I hope they don't forget. You shouldn't. You can't. President Trump was a very important person before he was president. He was a successful businessman, which is why he was a great president. He built this company from scratch, and now they're attacking his business, the people that work for this business and his children. It's uncanny and he's not going to stand for it because this is political lawfare. This isn't this isn't the justice system. This is political 100%. He needed to be there. He needed to look him in the eye. Does he beat this whole rap? He should. And if he doesn't beat it in this court, I'll tell you right now, we'll beat it somewhere else. This is this is the most ridiculous case I've ever seen. If you value your home for a dollar more as a person selling it and somebody buying it says, no, I think it's worth 800000 not a million, you're screwed. <laughs> so they don't want the market involved in this case. No, no, no market. We use tax assessors. Right, yeah, tax case. assessors, That's not right. fair market 18 value. Million. Tax assessors. $18 million for Mar-a-Lago, Jesse. All right. You want to split it? Let's go. Have Let's it. go. We could buy some paintings with the extra cash. Yeah, we'll use Hunter's paintings. That's for right. It. Alina, Perfect. thank you so much. Thank you. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.